Should you play bass with your fingers or should you play bass with a pick? I remember the first time I was in the recording studio when I was asked to play bass with a pick and it didn't go well. My timing wasn't good, my tone wasn't consistent and it just was not solid. I hadn't put a lot of time into practicing with a pick because I didn't like the way that it sounds. I thought it was something that wasn't important and I was wrong. Playing bass with a pick is something you need to know how to do. It's an iconic sound. It's an important part of music history. There have been a lot of records and songs and genres of music that lean pretty heavily on the sound of the bass pick. It's something that you should know how to do because sooner or later you're gonna run into a situation where you have to do it. I learned that the hard way. Put the time in now to practice playing with a pick. It's a cool sound. I used to think it was just guitar players that didn't know how to play bass that were playing with picks, and that's not the case. It's its own thing. The note is actually shaped differently. It has a sharper attack, and you can shape the decay depending on how you mute. So it's really a helpful tool. You can get different sounds out of the instrument if you use a pick instead of your fingers. It can also help take some of the wear and tear off of your fingers. Sooner or later, you're going to play more music in a shorter period of time than you're used to. Let's say you're getting ready for a gig and you have to spend hours to prepare. And then let's say the gig itself is three hours of playing music. And then say the next day you have another three hour gig. So let's say in a period of a weekend, you might have your bass in hand playing music for 10 plus hours your calluses might give out. I remember there was a time when I was on stage, there was a full dance floor, my calluses were literally falling off my, my hands. Now, if that were to happen, I would just pick up a pick, but at the time, I didn't have a pick with me, so I had to just power through, and it's not a good place to be. Always have a pick on standby when you're playing a gig, just in case, your fingers will thank you for it. Let's say you're not as confident playing bass with a pick as you are with your fingers. Here are some things you can do to help get better at it. It's not something that you're automatically gonna be good at. You have to put some time into it to be good at it. Practice with a metronome. Start slow. Build up slowly with your eighth notes. Try going up, try going down, try going back and forth. There's different sounds to different attacks. Experiment with them, start to get more comfortable, start to get more confident with the different techniques. Transcribe music with a pick in your hands. Let's say you're not planning to use a pick on the gig, but you have an hour of music to learn. Why not when you're transcribing and writing out the charts? Just use a pick. And then that's more time with a pick in your hands, which is gonna help you get more comfortable with it and more confident with it. It'll also help save your fingers if you have a lot of music to play that weekend. Take some time to try and figure out which pick you actually like. Everyone has a different pick that they like to use. So go to the music store and buy like 10 and practice with them and see what feels the most natural for you. I personally like these picks called the Big Stubby. They're made by Jim Dunlop. They're three millimeters thick. They have a nice sturdy grip. They have a nice tapered point for a precise attack. So playing bass with a pick. It's an iconic sound, it's a cool sound, and it can save your fingers. If you don't play with a pick, I really think it's time that you start practicing it. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to, and you're gonna thank yourself if you're ready. To my guitar player friends that are still getting started on the bass, I would say the same thing. If you're only playing bass with a pick, it is time to learn to play with your fingers. It's an important part of the sound. It's an important part of the instrument. If you're interested in learning more about that, let me know. Maybe we can do a video on right hand technique and getting a good tone from your fingers. Thanks for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it. I love talking about music, so if you consider subscribing, it would really help me out. But if not, that's okay too. Thanks.